क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन कॉर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड आर यूज एज कैटलिस्ट फॉर मेनी इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोसेसिस एग्जाम्पल इंक्लूड रोडियम कॉम्प्लेक्स विच इज यूज फॉर दी हाइड्रोजनेशन ऑफ एल्किन दिस कैटलिस्ट इज कॉल्ड एज विल्किस एंड कैटलिस्ट वॉट इज ट्रू अबाउट दी विल्किस एंड कैटलिस्ट सो वी बिन गिवेन फोर स्टेटमेंट स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन फर्स्ट डायरेक्टली ड्रॉ दी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ और वी कैन फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट दी विल्किस एंड कैटलिस्ट सो वी हैव रोडियम ट्राइफिनाइल फॉस्फीन क्लोराइड ओके so we have rh pph3 whole thrice cl so this is a square planar complex students so we have rh four coordinated there are three triphenyl phosphine present and one of the valency satisfied by chlorine okay So, if we talk about the oxidation state of rhodium in this case, it is present in a state of plus one. These are neutral ligands. So, we can now look at the options which are given to us. First option it says the coordination number of rhodium is three. This is not correct, students. Coordination number of rhodium is four. If you look at the second option now, oxidation number of rhodium is plus two. This is also not correct, students. It is plus one. If you look at option three now, coordination number of rhodium is six. This is also not correct. It is equal to Four, and if you look at the last option which is given to us, oxidation number of rhodium is plus one, so this is correct, students. So for question number forty-one, we have to mark the correct answer as option four. Let us look at the next question now. Question number forty-two, the absolute configuration of C two and C three. So the carbon number two and carbon number three have been labeled in this case. Okay, so we have to use the CIP rules, which is the Kahn Ingold Prelog rules. so we have to first assign priority so i'm sure you guys are all aware of the rules of assigning priority so if you look at the carbon number 2 so we have the aldehyde as the first priority okay to talk about the second priority it will go to the group which is below so this is 2 and this is 3 now students on moving from 1 to 2 to 3 we're going to have to move in an anti clockwise fashion but since the least prior group which is h is coming towards us in this case so it should be the reverse of what it actually appears so now it appears to be s as it is anti clockwise but the least prior group is coming towards us so this is r if you look at the carbon number 3 which is present below we can again assign the priority the first priority will be given to the alcohol one the second priority will be given to the group above and the third priority will be given to the group below which is methyl hydrogen is again coming towards us in this case so if we move from 1 to 2 to 3 we seem to be moving in an anti clockwise fashion which will give us an idea that it might be s but again the least prior group is coming towards us so it is also again r so students if we look at the options which are given to us carbon number 2 carbon number 3 both have r configuration and we have to mark the correct answer is option 1 let us look at the next question now question number 43 equal amount of nacl and solid y is taken in a test tube then considered as h2so4 is added to it the test tube is heated and the evolved gas is passed through sodium hydroxide solution which leads to the formation of a yellow colored solution okay this yellow solution is acidified with acetic acid and then lead acetate is added a yellow precipitate is formed the metal present in solid y is students we can see that there has to be a chromium atom present in the solid y so this is all a part of the chromyl chloride test so we have cl minus plus we have cro4 two negative or cr2o7 2 negative in the presence of acidified h2so4 they form cro2cl2 which is the chromyl chloride okay the chromyl chloride when it is passed through naoh it gives back the chromate ions which lead to the formation of yellow coloration when this chromate ion they react with lead 
plus 2 they give us lead chromate which is yellow in color okay so students the metal present in the solid y has to be chromium so for this question we have to mark the correct answer as option 3 let us look at the next question now question number 44 consider the reaction so we have NaX plus H2SO4 it gives us A plus other products so the A which was formed in the first reaction now reacts with start solution to give us blue color so this A has to be I2 students iodine turns the starch paper blue now it is further given to us that NaX reacts with AgNO3 to give us a yellow precipitate this also in fact confirms that it is iodide so NaI plus AgNO3 they react to give us AgI which is yellow in color okay so students the correct answer to question number 44 is option 4 which says that X is an iodide let us look at the next question question number 45 which of the following sulfide dissolves in polyammonium sulfide student the polyammonium sulfide is used for group 2 basic radicals so they are used to separate group 2 basic radicals into group 2a and group 2b so the group 2b cations they dissolve in yellow ammonium sulfide so they contain arsenic plus 3 antimony plus 3 antimony plus 5 and we have the tin so tin plus 2 and tin plus 4 so these cations they dissolve in yellow ammonium sulfide or the ammonium polysulfide so students if you look at the options given to us we can clearly see that AS2S3 is the answer to this question it belongs to group 2B cations and these dissolve in the yellow ammonium sulfide let us look at the next section students 